Hi, I have a magnifying glass, a circular tube holder, a light bulb, and a bag of silicon line spin tubes. They're just junk. But I'm here today to tell you how to use this junk to create a non-invasive diagnostic tool for early stage fungal meningitis. Fungal meningitis is a lethal disease that affects patients with immunocompromised systems, such as those with HIV. Symptoms include headache, nausea, and if untreated, coma, seizures, and even death. Worldwide, there are over 1 million patients diagnosed with fungal meningitis each year, and 60% of these patients will die from that disease. In Sub-Saharan Africa, fungal meningitis is actually the leading cause of death among HIV patients. One way to reduce the number of deaths is to detect the presence of fungal infection before symptoms occur. Early detection would give patients a chance to take medication to fight the infection before it spreads to the central nervous system. When you have a fungal infection, some of your fungal cells get into your urine. This makes your urine cloudy. As a first pass screening tool, we can use a light source and a magnifying glass to confirm that your urine is cloudy. We first make a centrifuge by connecting our tube holder to a normal drill. We then put the urine sample in the centrifuge and the rotational force pulls the fungus to the bottom of the tube. We then remove the urine above our fungus pellet and mix the pellet with a buffer containing soap and meat tenderizer, both common kitchen supplies. This solution is then placed inside the spin filter tube. When centrifuged, this tube can separate the DNA from all the proteins and other junk in the fungus mixture. Now we can see the presence of a small white pellet in the bottom of the tube. See that? That's fungal DNA, indicating a fungal infection. So we can do this over and over again with multiple samples. This system is completely non-invasive, inexpensive, and modular, allowing users to transport and replace individual components easily. And that is how we use recycled parts to non-invasively diagnose early stage fungal meningitis.